Welcome to MuseScore in Minutes, a series of short videos that'll quickly get you up and running with MuseScore 2.0. I'm Dr. George Hess. In each of these videos, we'll look at how to use some of the basic functions of the exciting new version of this program. MuseScore is a free and open source music notation program that's a great alternative to Finale and Sibelius. You can download it for free at the website shown on the screen. Lesson 3. Note Input There are two basic ways to enter notes into MuseScore 2.0, mouse input and step input. The simplest method is to point and click with the mouse. You'll want to zoom in before you try this. Click the Note Input button, click a note value, and then click in the score. But to be honest, no one's ever going to use this method for more than a note or two. It's just too slow. So let's jump right in and start learning some shortcuts. The keyboard shortcuts for note values are shown in the table on your screen. I suggest you just try to remember that 5 is a quarter note, or crotchet. From there, it's pretty easy to remember. As the numbers go up, the note values get larger, and as they go down, they get smaller. With just a little practice, you'll have all these under your fingers in no time. You can use either the numbers on the QWERTY keyboard or on the keypad if you have one. So now let's enter the first measure using the shortcuts. Let's go ahead and delete this measure first. We just click on it and press the backspace key. Um, our first note is on the end of 4, but we can't see that right now. We have to break this rest up. So I'm going to click on the rest and then type the shortcut 4 for 8th note to divide it into two 8th notes. Use the arrow key to move to the end of 4, and now we're ready to enter in the first note. I'm going to type an N to enter in note entry method. Eighth note's already selected, so all I have to do is click right there. This is a pretty simple melody, and we could continue to just enter it using the mouse, but there are better ways. Just as there are shortcuts for note values, you can also use the computer keyboard to enter pitches by typing their letter names. Pitches will be diatonic, so in this song, typing D will result in D-sharp. Use the down arrow to change it to D-natural. Now type E, D, E. Notice that this time the D is natural. If you make a mistake, type backspace or command or control Z for undo. The next note is tied. MuseScore will automatically add the note on the back end of a tie, so select the note value of the second note first, in this case a 6, for a half note, and now type Shift equals, or plus. MuseScore also has a virtual keyboard you can use to choose pitches. Go to the View menu and select the Piano Keyboard, or just type P. You'll see that middle C is indicated on the keyboard. Select our note value, and then play the note on the keyboard. For the next note, a dotted note, choose the base value quarter note first, then type period to add the dot, and then click on the keyboard. Now type 4 and enter the 4 eighth notes. Finally, type 7 for a whole note, and then shift equals or plus for the tied note. So now we have our first phrase. In the next video, we'll complete the melody using some methods that are even faster. This has been MuseScore in Minutes, a production of George Hess Music. For future videos, please subscribe to this channel. And for information about music technology training and clinics, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.